Hey everybody, John with OWL. I am holding some traction boards, or as people commonly refer to them, Max Tracks. A lot of people see them on vehicles. They look very overlandy, very outdoorsy. Uh, they look pretty cool, actually. And a lot of people don't know why people have these or what they're used for. Maybe you know what they're used for, and you don't really know uh, which ones to buy because they're expensive and they're plastic, and you're sitting there going, why are those so expensive if they're just plastic? Well. Some of them I will agree with you. They should not be that expensive if they're just plastic. Other ones I will say, hey, these actually take a lot of time to build and they're worth the money. So I wanna run you through kind of the different options and what you've got access to today. Um, first and foremost, our lovely friends over at Amazon who like to make cheap imported stuff. These are some cheap kind of what I'll call Amazon traction boards and uh, these started life black and you can see that they've kind of faded to a kind of a, a dusty gray color. They've got these cool alternating orange nubbins that make them look awesome, but do they actually work? Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. Then you've got what is kind of the gold standard of traction boards. This is a Max Trax. Oh, it's an Australian company, mate. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, I won't do that anymore. But uh, these are from the land of Oz and they are kind of the the go-to and i'm not sure if they invented it but they're definitely the most well-known brand they're the kleenex of traction boards that's why people frequently refer to traction boards as max tracks max tracks i think these are i don't know 300 bucks i have to look online um, we sell these and people love these because people want to buy these these are an all plastic construction there's certainly a better quality than something like this that you're going to get on amazon super cheap you can feel how rigid this is. You can see that the plastic is not particularly UV stable, which means that um, with time and sun, you've got uh, a kind of a breakdown or degradation of the plastic. So cost does matter if you're gonna use these for a while. They also sit in the sun, plastic degrades in the sun. So you want something that's UV stable. These right here are pretty cool. These are called action tracks. And uh, we actually started carrying these. They're actually a little bit more expensive than the Max Tracks, but we started carrying them because uh, two things. One, we always try to find the best solution for a problem, not simply the most popular. Um, second, we had a lot of problems getting supply of parts from Max Tracks, and we're not really in the business of having things on our website that aren't available to ship in a reasonable amount of time. And it's also, we don't get a good insight into um, availability. So we looked for um, something better and uh, alternative to Max Tracks. I think we found it, but let me explain to you the differences. So I think one of the most important things to do is what is a traction board used for? Well, I'll demonstrate with these green ones off of another vehicle. We don't sell the green ones because not many vans want green Max Tracks or Action Tracks. But what the situation you would use these in is in a low traction situation. So mud, sand, snow. And again, the first line of defense anytime you're in a low traction situation is to air down. Nine times out of 10, airing down will get you out um, if you have a locker like the one Owl makes. Uh, locking your, your differential will help you get out. Definitely that uh, those two would be number one in my book. At, uh, if those have failed and you're really stuck stuck or you have a situation where you're helping someone, which oftentimes our recovery gear uh, ends up helping not us, but other people. And maybe they don't have a locker. Maybe they have smoother tires, not off-road tires, and you need to use these. So how do these work? Well, uh, when you get stuck, they're kind of multi-fold. Let's say that we're in snow or sand or something. You can see the tip of this is kind of serrated and it can be used as a shovel. So the first thing you wanna do is, is if you have, let's say you have a tire that's dug itself down and created kind of a pit or a hole that it's in, whether it's mud or dirt or sand, you've got a big kind of ramp for that to climb. So the first thing you wanna do is, A, you can pop off your shovel, like an Agency 6 that, that I have on, on this van. But if, you, if it's in sand or something soft, you can also just literally use these traction boards to go in there and shovel that sand out in front of your tire. It's gonna make a nice kind of flatter transition. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your traction board and you're gonna stuff it in there and get it as far in there as you can. And we'll mimic mimic a live event here by putting some angle to this. Okay, so let's assume that you're trying to drive out. So what's gonna happen is, uh, how do I do this? All right, I'm gonna take the, the cover off these. 
What's going to happen, or at least the theory, is that your tire that is spinning on snow or mud or dirt that doesn't have much traction or is simply moving out of the way, the theory is that the knob of your tires is going to grab these little nubbins on the traction boards and then it's going to allow it to have some traction and climb its way out. It does work, absolutely. So why do these look different? Well, you can see that the Max tracks have plastic nubs and the uh, action tracks that we really like have they're actually bolts put in from the back. And what's cool about the design is the bolts, which I'm sure are very labor intensive to install, uh, are all in the areas at the beginning of the track. And this is important because that's where you get the most tire spin. Once the tire's up on uh, the traction board, you're not gonna get much tire spin. <clears throat> so the reason those are important is, I can show you on these. these As the tire spins, okay, here we go. This is a good example. See these? One, two, three, four, plastic nubbins. Where'd they go? They're gone. Look at that. Nothing. Worn straight down. So what happened is <clears throat> the tire started slipping on the traction board, and instead of grabbing that nub and climbing these big heavy vans, if you've got a little off-roader that doesn't weigh that much, I'm sure these would work a lot better. The problem with a van, this van as it sits is close to 10,000 pounds it wears off those plastic nubbins because it just, it's just it got uh, uh, the tire rotating and the van uh, just shreds those. And so the thing that we like about the action tracks is A, the tip of these bolts is actually shockingly sharp. It's not sharp like a spike, but this is the same thing that people put on tires for like snow tires, like studded snow tires, because they work awesome. And so what you've essentially done is instead of studying the tire, you've studded the ground or the snow or the traction uh, board. And so these are actually quite sharp and they're replaceable. And there's no way that a tire is gonna wear down uh, a steel bolt. In fact, if anything, the tire is gonna, gonna grab that really strongly. And so what's nice about the action tracks is they have those bolts. The Max tracks are obviously a better material than those cheap uh, Amazon ones, but again, they're plastic and there's not much to it. A tire spinning on that will absolutely wear it down. The second aspect of traction boards that I wanna talk about is flexibility. These are not a bridge. If you're going over a hole or a divot or something, do not span the gap with your traction board, not with a 10,000 pound vehicle. You're gonna snap it. Uh, it's just not what they're intended for. They're intended to get you out of a situation not to cross um, something. So look at this. If I step back here, it is incredibly rigid. So the problem with that is, you dig this in a hole, the van starts climbing up, you're gonna get micro fractures, if not full splits in a traction board as it ages because plastic as it sits in the sun gets more brittle. And so these, while they may have worked great while brand new, now that they sat in the sun for a few years on the top of my van, they have gotten very brittle and old, and the, I would not be surprised if these uh, broke out on the trail. <clears throat> Max Tracks, obviously a much higher quality product. They're gonna last longer. Yes, they will fade in the sun. Yes, they will become more brittle. But again, the Max Tracks are also, now there's two, two together, but take my word for it because these are zip tied. Um, they're fairly stiff again. And if you had a light buggy and wanted to cross a little uh, divot, you could use that. But for these vans, if you're crossing a hole, it would snap it in half. Now let's talk about the action tracks. And one of the reasons I like them so much, look at this. See that? They're incredibly flexible, which inherently you would think, well, wouldn't you want them rigid? No, because what happens is when you've got that ramp, this conforms to the shape of the dirt. And so it gives you all of the traction you need while conforming to the shape of the trail. It's gonna fill it in slightly, so it's gonna be easier for the vehicle. But what's cool about that is that it's flexible. And so as the van rolls over it, instead of getting the fractures in the traction board, it's actually gonna to adhere to the contour of the trail. And um, obviously if something has a tire on one side and ground on the other, it's not really gonna fracture. It's when it's spanning a gap, a rigid board, that you're more likely to have a fracture. So, it's actually really nice to have that flexibility. And as plastic, all plastic sits in the sun and ages, it tends to get stiffer and more brittle. So if you start with something that is very flexible, then over the years, 
it's gonna retain more of that flexibility. And so as it ages and becomes more brittle, you're still gonna be much better off than if you start with something brittle that ages and gets more brittle with time. And so again, we can show that here where you've got two boards, one with studs made of steel and one with studs made of not there anymore. So again, the way this would work is with a four-wheel drive, some people carry four. I mean, look, if you're in a Land Cruiser and you wanna go across Africa, carry four traction boards. Uh, in a van, you don't, don't need four traction boards. In fact, you're better off with low tires and uh, a locker and two traction boards. And if you can't get out or unstuck with that um, and a winch, uh, you shouldn't be going where you're going. So the way this works again, you stuff this in, you're gonna wanna do it to both rear tires. Certainly, you're gonna wanna do it to the tire that spins. So, if you don't have a locking differential product placement like the one that Owl has, uh, then what you're gonna get is you apply power to those rear wheels is one wheel is gonna spin and one wheel is gonna stay still. And unfortunately, the wheel that stays still is usually the wheel with traction and it's not gonna spin. So what you wanna do is make sure that the traction board really gets under there and gets that wheel that's spinning. And so it, maybe that means digging it out, but you definitely wanna put them on both sides because that traction might move as you get out. So you stuff them in there nice and deep. You dig out a, <clears throat> you dig out a hole in front um, to make sure that you have as flat a, a runway as possible and you stuff it in there. And then again, you can see the flexibility of this. It's really, really cool. And anyway, so that's why I love these max tracks. Excuse me, I said that wrong. I love these action tracks and we've had them for a while on the website and people always talk about max tracks, which are a, definitely a good product, but I wanted to give action tracks their due because I think they've really upgraded what is available out there uh, in the traction board world. I believe these fit the exact same mounts as max tracks. In fact, let's hold it up and confirm it. That is confirmed. So the spacing is identical and the holes are identical. So if you already have max tracks pins on your vehicle, um, or you want to buy Max Tracks pins to go with the Action Tracks, those will work. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to say about these before I went. Don't remember what it is. So, um, anyway, you can check these out on our website. We carry both the Max Tracks and the Action Tracks. The uh, Action Tracks, I think we have in black and tan. And then I think the uh, Max Tracks we have in black and orange. Uh, and then the green ones I use because, you know, uh, somebody ordered a green set and nobody wants to buy a green set. So now I took them. Uh, anyway, so that is kind of some information about traction boards. So if you have more questions, you're more than welcome to call our customer service. They can answer stuff for you. Um, outside of that, if you find these videos helpful at all, you can like and subscribe. And then there's a notification button that you can hit so you get notified when we do more stuff like this because um, hopefully you guys get some value out of these videos. So I appreciate the time and hopefully you get out there to a place where you need to use traction boards. <laughs>